Let's see how to start a GUI designer layout using an Extron template. Start by clicking on the New Project button on the top left. This will bring up the Project Create Wizard. Once on this page, select the touch panel. In this case, we'll be selecting the TLP Pro 1020T. If your touch panel is capable of using multiple resolutions, set the resolution of your touch panel from this drop down menu. In this case, TLP Pro 1020T only supports 1024 by 600 resolution. Next, to start from a template, click on Theme. Currently, we have Jet and Speed themes available. In this example, we'll be selecting Jet theme. Next, based on your application, choose the template from this drop down menu. In this example, we'll be using a dual display template. Then simply click Create, and this will add the required pages and pop-ups in your project. In this video, we will see how to start a blank layout to create a custom touch panel layout for your system. Start by going to New Project. Select your panel type. Let's take an example of TLI Pro 101. Then select the resolution of your touch screen. In this example, let's use 1280 by 720 screen size. Next, make sure blank is checked and then click on create. This will start a new blank layout which you can customize to your needs. In the workspace, you can right click to add new pages and pop-ups. From the controls window, you can add objects like buttons, images, videos, etc. to your pages and pop-ups. In the appearance properties of each object, you can very easily customize the appearance of the selected object. Adding an image to an object is very easy. Just click on the image button. The resource library window will open and will allow you to select the image that you want to add to your button. This is how you can start a blank project, add, remove pages, add objects, and change the appearance of your objects in GUI Designer software. In this video, we will cover how to do simple modifications to your template. Let's say in your application, you only have four sources, laptop, PC, Blu-ray, and a tuner. Let's begin by deleting the buttons which are not required in your application. You can select multiple buttons by holding the control key on the keyboard and then clicking on the buttons to select them. Then simply press delete on the keyboard to delete the buttons. Next, to align the buttons to make them look equally spaced, click on the tuner, drag and drop it to the right, select the rest of the buttons and go to layout, click on horizontal spacing and then click make same. Once that is done for display 1, you can select display 2 from workspace and apply the same changes to display 2 as well. Now, since we do not have those input buttons in our project, we can simply delete the pop-up pages related to those input buttons or we can leave them in the project for future use. In this case, I'll be deleting the pop-up pages to explain how pages can be removed from the workspace. To delete a page, simply right-click and then select delete. After you confirm the deletion of the page, the page will be removed from the list under the workspace. Similarly, delete the other pages that are not required in your project. This is how a template can be modified to fit the needs of your application. The GUI Designer software provides a feature called scaling, which is used for easy conversion of layouts from one size touch panel to another. To explain how this can be done, let's take an example of a layout that you created for a seven inch touch panel. And now you want to use the same layout on a 10 inch touch panel. This is when the scaling feature comes into play. Let's see how scaling is done. Start by going to the project on the top left, then click on properties. This will bring up the project properties window. As you can see, our current layout is for the TLP Pro 720T, which is a seven inch touch panel. Now, to use this 7-inch layout on a 10-inch touch panel, simply select the 10-inch touch panel and click OK. The layout will be scaled to fit a 10-inch touch panel. Let's verify by going to the project again and clicking on Properties. Here you will see that this layout belongs to a TLP Pro 1020T touch panel. This is how this amazing time-saving feature called scaling can be used for easy conversion of layouts from 
one size touch panel to another. One of the new features of GUI Designer is embedding the font within your project. The purpose behind this feature is that in case the designer uses a specific font and the installer does not have the same font, then the GUI that's loaded to the touch panel looks different from what was designed by the designer. To make sure that the font that is used by the designer is passed on to the installer, GUI Designer provides a way of embedding the font in your project. Now let's see how to embed a font within your project. Start by selecting a button you want to have special font on. In this case, let's select the display one button. Now under the properties window, make sure the show appearance properties is selected. Then select the font, click on the drop down, scroll down to select more and the font page will appear. On this page, select the font that you want to add to this button. We will be selecting italic C, then click OK. And you will see how the font has been changed on the button. Also in the resource library, under the font tab, you will see that the italic C regular has been already added. At this point, this font will stay in your project unless it is deleted from the resource library. This is how GUI Designer helps embed font to make the design process even easier. With Extron's new probe control system products, the upload process of touch panel layout has been changed. Now in the new process, GUI Designer does not upload the layout to the touch panel. It is the global configurator that takes care of uploading the touch panel layout as well as the configuration for the control processor. Once you have finished working on your layout and you are ready to use this layout in global configurator, at this point the user is required to save the project. GUI Designer offers two types of save options. Let's see where the two save options are available at. Go to file on the top left. There you will see the two save options. The first one is simply a save option and the second one is save and build option. The difference between save and the save and build options is that the save option only saves your layout and does not build it so it cannot be used in global configurator project. On the other hand, save and build saves as well as builds the project so this file can be used in global configurator for further configuration. Please note, no matter which save option one chooses, the file extension for the saved file stays the same. Now let's click on save and build and create a GUI designer file which can be used in global configurator. This is how you save and build to prepare the layout for further configuration in global configurator.